Number 1. Altstadt. Heidelberg's glorious old town rests in the shadow of the ruins of Schloss Heidelberg. The Altstadt has many of the things people love about German old quarters, sociable squares with bar terraces at cornmarked and marked plats, cobblestone streets, and a catalog of historic landmarks. Number 2. Schloss Heidelberg. Perched 80 meters above the Altstadt and Necker is the former seat of Heidelberg's Prince Electors, now one of the most beautiful ruins in the world. The castle was begun as a fortress in the 13th century, but in the 15th and 16th century was expanded into a palace fit for Heidelberg's imperial rulers. Number 3. Altibruck. Crossing the Necker between the Altstadt and the Neuenheim district on the right bank, the Altibruck dates in its current form to 1788 during the rule of Elector Charles Theodore. Despite being more than 200 years old, this structure is the ninth bridge to be built on this spot. Number 4. Kirk Balzisch's Museum. Heidelberg's Palatinate Museum is in the 18th century Palais Morass and has painting, sculpture, and applied arts as well as archaeology recording the long human history of the Lower Necker Valley and Heidelberg's time as the Electoral Palatinate residence. Number 5. Deutsches Apothekin Museum. Across 11 rooms in Schloss Heidelberg is a museum documenting the history of pharmacies and medical science in Germany. There are 20,000 pieces on display here, but what really captures the imagination are the seven complete pharmacy sets, the earliest dating back to the Renaissance. Number 6. Heidelberg Tun. In the cellar of Schloss Heidelberg is a marvel that also needs its own entry. The Heidelberg Tun is an enormous wine barrel. It was built in 1751 during the reign of Charles Theodore and when it was completed was able to hold 221,726 liters. Since then it's Kappa. Number 7. Philosophenweg. On the right bank of the Necker is a two-kilometer path on high ground presenting views over the city and Schloss Heidelberg across the river. The path climbs from the Neuenheim district up the Heiligenberg Hill, but you can also access the trail from the Alte Bruck on the east side. Number 8. Heiligenberg. You can take a detour off the Philosophenweg to spend some time exploring the Heiligenberg. This sandstone hill is 440 meters high and features Heidelberg's oldest signs of habitation. The oldest of all is the Celtic defensive wall going back to the 4th century BC. Keep going to the summit and you'll be met by the ruins of the 11th century monastery of St. Michi. Number 9. Church of the Holy Spirit. Heidelberg's main church first took shape in the 13th century, but was at the turn of the 15th century that it got its current late Gothic design. For centuries this building was the burial place of the Palatinate's Prince Electors. Number 10. Neckerwies. The largest green space in the center of Heidelberg has an idyllic position along the right bank of the river at Neuenheim. The Neckerwies cuts inland for an average of 50 meters and between its large lawns are groves of alders, lime trees, poplars and willows, as well as avenues traced by chestnuts. Hope you like this video. For more videos, please subscribe to our channel.